Mummy, look at this. Cheryl, Mummy's on the phone. Oh, come on, Jackie, pick up. Now, don't move off that sofa until Chalky gets here. OK, hon? Before. I don't want to let you down. You're joking? Janice, compared to your real job, this is going to be a breeze. I've seen the way you run that score. I mean, I know Michael thinks he's in charge, but you're the one who gets her hands dirty. You think? Definitely. But if you don't get out of your comfort zone, how are you ever going to move on? Unless you want to be a school secchi the rest of your life. No way. Listen, I really appreciate you doing this for me at the last minute. I hope childcare wasn't too much of a problem. That's what childcare's so far, isn't it? Good. You ready? Come on, then. bed. Oh, it's all right. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's Mingy. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. Are you not here with me? I never wet my bed. It... Rhiannon? Oh, that's just plain daft now, that is. I mean, I know you two don't get on, but she's been making a real effort. It's probably just a here, drink plenty of water today and we'll get you to the GP as soon as. We can't have you disappear into the lab during my wedding vows, can we? But I didn't do it. Morning. You've not seen Mr Budgeon anywhere, have you? I have found the best white tuxedo on the internet. <laughs> you look the spit of Sean Connery. Well, you need to put your little accident. Hope Miss C's not been too hard on you. Oh, do you know? If you need a hand later with that dirty laundry, miss. Oh, no, you're all right. I'll manage. And I think we're all clear on that last one, so thank you very much. See you soon. Cheers. See, what did I tell you? You were fabulous. Oh, thanks. I didn't know that being a PA would be so interesting. I'm glad you think so, because I've struggled to find a decent PA. Someone who's not just using the job as a springboard to management. Really? Yeah, the way things are going, there are going to be more events and overseas travel than my secretaries can handle. Sounds wicked. Do you know, I'm always on the lookout for the right person. Have a think about it, will you? Well, I so will. Cheers. How many units of alcohol do you drink in a week? Fifteen, maybe twenty. You want to tell me the truth now? That's hard to say. I mean, the size of uh, wine glasses and pubs these days. I think we're looking at a figure closer to 100 or more. Don't be ridiculous. Miss Mulgrew, you have to face facts. Drinking is making you extremely sick. Well, it can't be. I don't drink any more than anyone else I know. So what else do you suggest is causing you? Stomach pain, itching, swollen legs, fainting episodes? Stress. I'm a single mother with a demanding job, but... <laughs> What would you know about being a working mum? Uh, Miss Mulgrew... We are finished here. 
Before you leave, could I ask you to take a look at these? They're your liver function test results. Are you sure that's right? That's, um... It's 15 times what it should be. We can repeat them if you want, but uh, they only confirm my diagnosis. Cirrhosis? Alcoholic hepatitis. Am I going to die? Not if you stop drinking. Should have wasted, I'd have given you a lift. Needed some air. So what do you think of my proposal then? Yeah, it's all right. I'm discussing it with Michael in a minute. Any thoughts? You haven't read it, have you? Well, how am I supposed to know? I'm not a teaching expert. Fine. So listen, I might be late home tonight. This gig of me and some mates are going, so. What mates? Just mates. Well, I thought we were watching the game getting a takeaway, aren't we? Fine. I need to copy these, and she's changed the code again. Does anyone happen to know where she keeps the key for the station we covered? Oh, great. I'm supposed to be discussing this with Michael in five minutes. Oh, Post's in. How is the groom to be? Oh, well, let's just say that uh, Margaret's interpretation of low-key exists in a parallel universe to mine. Well, that's a sad state of affairs when you're the only one of us in a serious relationship. Jealous, are we? That I've stolen your crown as resident Romeo. Oh, you're welcome to it, mate. I'm done with all that. I'm keeping my life nice and simple from now on. Oh, don't remember receiving my invitation to this party. We're waiting for Janice. What is she playing at? Uh, I assume, as this was still in her desk, you haven't had a chance to look through my new module ideas. No, I'm afraid not, no. Well, I've got a free period. I, we can have a chat in half an hour or so. I, I can't, Tom. I've got an anti-bullying charity coming in, and God knows I'm going to find the brochure underneath all of this. Well, it's the syllabus deadline tomorrow. Look, I'll have a read of it before lunchtime and catch up with you then. I promise. Is that OK? If it's not too much trouble. Is everything all right? What does it look like? I was just wondering if you've had a chance to visit your father yet. Oh, I think you already know the answer to that question. It's been years, Michael. You're both different people now. He's got to you, hasn't he? He's an old man. Chan, he's a bully. And a good one. So just leave it. I knew it was you. Well, aren't you the Sherlock Holmes? What kind of disgusting psycho pees in someone else's bed? It's crazy. Which is why no one's gonna believe you if you tell them. All right, Phoenix? Mum! Mum! Are you trying to give me a heart attack? Sorry. For the doctors to. Everything's fine. I'm much triggered. All right, stop your nagging. Fine. I do have something. It's called alcoholic hepatitis. You need to stop drinking. I know all about that. Is... No, how could you possibly know? Just tell me what you need. No one must find out. I mean it. If I lose this job, that's it for this corner. Promise me. Of course. Shouldn't you be at home, though? When you get withdrawal symptoms? I can handle it. Dr. Lee, senior registrar. Hi, uh, Daniel Chalk. You brought Cheryl in today. Yeah. So, what happened? Uh, she burnt her hand on some hair tongs. Uh, I wasn't actually there at the time, so. Was your wife? No, no. Uh, Janice, uh, Miss. Miss Bryant, Cheryl's mum, we're not, um, she, we, we're not married. You live together? No, in the same building, in different flats. That's, that's why I didn't see the note at first. Note? Yeah, it's all my fault, really. Uh, I, I should have heard a knocking, but I uh, had the music cranked up to 11, you know. Yes, she, um, wanted me to drop Cheryl off at the childminders. Uh, Miss Bryant, she had a, an urgent call. The child was home alone? No. Well, yes. 
Well, no, no, nowhere near as long as last time. I mean, it could only have been a couple of minutes. So this isn't the first time it's happened? Oh, no. This, this is coming out all wrong. Um, Janice, she, she's a great mum. You, you'll see when you meet her. I, I can't get in touch with her, I can't get a signal in here. Do you think she'll be able to get in this morning? Oh, definitely, yeah. If you let one of the nurses know when she arrives, I can sort out a time for social services to interview her. Stale toilets. Oh, yeah, sorry, Scout. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where's Mr. Chalk? <whistles> I said, where's Mr. Chalk? He's not here. Well, what do you mean he's not here? What is he popped out of? He's not here, he's not here. Miss Bryant, where have you been? And where is Mr. Chalk? I'll meet you back down at the office, thank you. The rest of you, sit back down, please. I'll be sending up some cover in a minute, so don't get excited. And then suddenly, the fire alarm started going off, so everyone started legging it into the car park, pyjamas and everything, and um, then I left my keys in the flat. And Daniel? What the same. Right, so both you and Daniel locked yourselves outside your flat. Nightmare. And then we had to wait for hours for the fire brigade to break back in for us. Why didn't you call? Well, because I dropped my phone and the fire engine ran over it and then it got smashed to pieces. Right, look. Lorraine asked me to do a job and Chalky said that he was going to drop Cheryl off and he didn't turn up and he's not going to even touch him dead. Lorraine? Over should have known that you needed to be here. It won't happen again. You're absolutely right, it won't happen again. Have you any idea how serious this is? I can't run a school like this. No more disappearing acts, Janice. And consider this an official warning. What? But this office is the beating heart of Waterloo Road. I need you totally committed. And I am. And no more personal calls. Fine. Janice. Janice! I was thinking of doing a running coffee, but I reckon a sit down's much more classier, don't you think? Anyway, I'm going to try a French fish soup this lunchtime, see what these lot make of it. <laughs> I. Uh... That was my birthday present off Grantley. But it wasn't me. Scout, I, I just. I don't know what to say to you. How long are you going to keep this up for? Till everyone sees you for the cow you really are. She's in the loo, one of the nurses. I feel sick. Look, the worst has happened. We, we just got to get her better. Why did I go to Lorraine's stupid meeting? I'm such an idiot. No, you're not. Denise, there's something I've got to tell you. This is Michael. Look, don't worry. I I'll be here as long as you need me. No, go. Are you sure? I don't want you to, but you've done more than enough for us today. Janice. My paper. Blanche Dubois does not want to live in the real world, so she invents a fantasy one. Um, sorry, where was I? Fantasy world. D do you think this has anything to do with her downfall? 
Yeah, she's her own worst enemy. She can't handle who she really is. Is it hot in here? No. Oh, it is. It's, uh, it's very hot. Um, Blanche is in denial, and uh, some, someone open a window, please. And she will do anything to keep herself in her safe, make-believe world. Is that why she's always knocking back the booze then, miss? <laughs> what is up with her? <laughs> she's lost it. Enough! Ooh, relax, will you? Yeah, she nearly hit her. Do you know, 20, 20 years I've been teaching that, it's, <laughs> it's time for a change. No way, we've done a ton of work on it already. I am in charge here, you little creep. Uh, you can't talk to him like that. What about his coursework? So, the past few months have been a complete waste. I must have told Mr Clarkson about this. Shut your face! Miss! Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, but I don't think she is. For God's sake, Scout! Why did you...? No, I, I never asked what? It's all ruined my way, my diary! Mrs. Mulgrew, what, what in the world is going on here? Look what Scout did. No! No! Stop that. This way. <laughs> Make your way to the cooler now. This is all you! She keeps doing this, making up stories about me. Why can't any of you see she's twisting things? I'm not. Tell her you smashed her perfume. Go away, you're not allergic to perfume. This blaming Rhiannon has got to stop. I'm sick of this, and I'm sick of you lot. I'm going to get through, and then you're going to be the sorry one. Miss Bryant, where are you going? I'm going home. The nurse said when Cheryl comes back, we can go. Didn't Mr Chalk tell you? Tell me what? We've had to report your daughter's injury to social services. What does that mean? We can't discharge her until you've spoken to a social worker. Well, what has Chalky said? I'm sure the social worker will be able to answer all your questions. What you did was completely irresponsible. I had no choice. Put yourself in my shoes. What, what would you do? I'd have notified my employer for a start. I tried to call you. Of course I did. I, I couldn't get a signal. The point is, you're not even the child's father. Your duty is to the student population here. Uh, could you keep it down, please? The whole school can hear you. This lot of you being late. I was at the inn with Cheryl. She was left in the house on her own and she hurt herself. Well, where was Janice? Oh, at some meeting with Lorraine, apparently. Well, well that's totally out of order. You should have a word with her. I will and all. You won't have to. Social services are taking care of it. Social services? You've not dropped her in it, have you? No. I'm taking care of it. Good. The last thing Janice needs is the social sniffing around. I don't take any notice of him. He did the right thing. Look, I, I don't know what department. Child... Welfare, child protection, whoever takes care of hospitals. Look, I need to talk to someone urgently. There's been a serious misunderstanding here. There you are. I, I heard about your perfume. Yeah, I didn't think Scout had it in her to be so nasty. Why would you do such a thing? Oh, don't waste your time pondering the unanswerable. Mm. I could always show you this instead. <laughs> I saw it and I thought, that is my... Grantly. Then it came to me, right? James Bond, themed wedding. You, Bond, obviously. Me, pussy galore. Michael, Goldfinger, Chalky Jaws. Right, that's it. One more word about tuxedos, flowers, or, or, or chocolates in the shape of a giant panda from the foothills of the Himalayas. I'll be a lot more than shaken and stirred. It's just an idea. Consider it binned. Cheaters. Hello? Yeah, no. Oh, there must be somebody I can talk to.
No. I wasn't going to drink it. It's a sure idea of helping, because the only thing you're helping me do is want to drink. And when I do, it'll be your fault. Mum... No, stop going on. I've had enough of it today. Why? What's happened? My mum, nothing. Yeah, no, I heard. She attacked me. Eh? She's a total nut job, just like you. Yeah. Couldn't have let him go. It wasn't his fault. Your mum, she's in a bad way. She was totally out of it. I even saw her asking for help. Asking who? It looked like she was praying. You know I'm here for you if you need me. What's up with your mum? It's bad, isn't it? I'm managing just fine. Well, do you feel as if you're spending enough time with your daughter? Of course. She does seem to be in other people's care a lot of the time. Now, as her mother, do you feel you could make more time? What? That word, mother. Well, a mother's middle-aged, dresses boring and fancies Jason Donovan. Me and Cheryl were more like best mates. We're concerned that Cheryl's needs aren't being met. Look, well, I know things aren't perfect. But I've, I've been offered an amazing job. Have you heard of Lorraine down again? Well, I'm going to have plenty of money coming in to set up for Cheryl's future. Take the call if you want. It's right now you need to focus on rather than the future. And we can help by paying regular visits to your home and working with you on everything from nighttime routines to dietary plans. Are you going to take my baby away from me? We're going to be keeping a very close eye on Cheryl to ensure she gets all the care and attention from you that she needs. Look, I'm sorry I didn't look at this until now. Uh, it's been a bit of a morning. Yes, so I gather. Don't you think you were a little bit hard on Chalky earlier? Well, I think he's got his priorities wrong. In fact, the uh, same thing could be said about your proposal, if I'm honest. Media literacy is important. Mm hmm Well, if we combine different media forms, like reality TV and adverts, it will make the lessons more relevant. Don't you think they're bombarded with that kind of stuff already? So you think we should just ignore the outside world? No, I think Shakespeare and Wordsworth can provide our GCSE students with all the literacy they need. Yeah, and I'm not saying that we can't have both. Tom, you're not convincing me. Sorry, can I interrupt? Michael, I'm aware you've plenty on your plate at the moment, but earlier this morning I discovered Christine's Year 12 class song teacher. To say it was pandemonium would be an understatement. What is going on? Teachers dropping like flies. I told you to work on in pairs. Keep the chat down. And hey, I can't believe it. So much of classes are really out. Thanks. Mr. Jock. Sorry, we, uh, where were we? I was thanking you for this. You deserved it. You worked hard. Is it Janice? Did you know? The whole school can see she's got you running around like a lap dog. Sorry. I'm exhausted just thinking about today, let alone years of... Janice-related drama. Yeah, I think my dad thinks the same about me. Don't think he'll ever let me move out, just so we can keep an eye on me. It sounds daft, but it's like, ever since 
He's been on his own. It's like he sort of uses me as a relationship substitute. Don't get me wrong, I love chilling with him. It's just like sometimes we're an old married couple. <laughs> Have you told him? No, I don't want to upset him. You might upset him at first, but once the truth's out, you can start to fix things. What are you worried about, then? Abandoning your class mid-lesson? Public meltdowns, allegations of assault? Something to do with Phoenix Taylor? It's all been a big misunderstanding. I wanted to take the heat out of the situation. Mm -hmm. You see, Phoenix has been um, making advances towards me. What? Well, then we should get him up here right away. Oh, no, no, let's not be hasty. Everything's under control. I mean, I've been round the block a few times, and this isn't the first time I've seen something like this. Mm. I find it's normally boys lacking in a father figure. But you needn't worry. I, I can handle it. Well, if it does happen again, make sure you come to me. Believe me, it won't. Therefore, the line AB has the equation 3x plus 2y equals 7. And this is impossible. Well, I run an extra class on a, on a Friday afternoon after school, if you're interested. You're all welcome. Sweet. Count me in. I'll wait. I can't. Why? Just forget it, yeah? It's not Friday night. So mad. Looking fine today. So listen, I've got a couple of tickets for a gig tonight. You interested? I'd love to. All right. If I was desperate to hang out with a brainless ape child. <laughs> <laughs> Get on with your work, please. Quiet on your way out. I'll see you tomorrow. How could you do this to me? How could you betray me? I'm not in front of the kids. You're my best friend. I, I didn't betray you. They asked me questions. I couldn't lie. Why not? Why should I? I'm sick of lying for you. Uh, I'm sick of being a 24-hour baby dumping service. I'm sick of watching you neglect Cheryl. Oh, do you know what? You're just like the rest of them. You think I'm some bimbo who can't do right by my own girl. Well, do you know what? Lorraine saw me potential and she's offered me a job. For once in your life, can't you see? It's not about you. It's about Cheryl. You are so... You're so selfish. Excuse me! I'm selfish! You're the one that's been using us because you're a sad, lonely old man who'll never amount to anything and never have a family of his own! I wouldn't want to be part of your family anyway! Everyone, show's over. Taking care of it, have you? Dad! What's going on? You shouldn't have done that to Janice. What, so we should have lied? Yes. No. Because that's what you do with everything, innit? Just lie to yourself. Everything's fine, just expect all your problems will magically disappear. What's that supposed to mean? It means I don't want to hang with you all the time. I know you're lonely, but it's too much for me. I need my own life, too. I'm not your partner, I'm your son. Nice for that vid today. What's your problem? What is it with you? Always wanting to know what a man's thinking. Get over yourself. I'm not the one with a problem here. <laughs> Forget it. Can't be doing the games. Why aren't you 
sitting there. Because I know what you're going through. You can't say she doesn't deserve it. Of course she doesn't. We are talking about the same Janice. The mother who concealed her child's chicken pox rash with makeup so as not to be inconvenienced. Shall I leave? Shall I? No, I wouldn't want to spoil a good gossip. I was just saying I think you're right. I didn't do anything apart from tell the doctor what happened. You did the right thing, Daniel. This is not your fault. This is none of our business. No, it is, as a matter of fact. We're her friends, it's our job, not the socials, to help her out. Really? So what have you done? What have you been doing in the way of Good Samaritan? What have any of you done? I'm the one that looks after Cheryl. I'm the one that knows her. She's not a happy kid. I tried telling Denise a thousand times, but she, she doesn't want to hear it. You wouldn't understand, Chalky. You've no family of your own. You've no idea what she's going through. I do. I'm going to prove it. I'll prove you wrong. Are you sure that's Rhiannon's? Shh. Let's listen for the click. Oh, and we're in. Nice one. What are we looking for? Yeah, Scout. What are you looking for? If it's a long suspension, I think Mr Byrne would agree with me. You've just found one. <sighs> what do you think I'm doing? Do you think I want to touch that cow stuff? I can't believe that I was feeling sorry for you. I came out here, you know, to make amends. Th this is just... Beyond me. Do you know what? I don't care anymore because I know I'm right. Oh, scout. Whatever. I'm sorry you didn't like my soup. <sighs> oh, made my destroy. You kidding? No. Oh, I've just lost my appetite. You bring some more next week. You'll see. We both know that I can't keep sneaking around like this. Michael needs to know, and he doesn't need to hear it from me. No progress then. No, you have to tell him. No. This isn't fair. I told you I won't have his pity. Can you not see how ridiculous this is? Michael is your son. I've lived alone all these years. I'm sure I can manage to die alone. <laughs> Rhiannon, how could you? This was in your locker. Because she planted it in there? I don't believe you. You're lying. Show me your hands. What? Your word. Sure. Uh, no way. That'll be your perfume allergy then. What? Scout, I'm so sorry. Never in my life have I come across such mean, spiteful, atrocious behaviour. I think maybe you should both meet me in there in a minute, please. You heard him. Move. Back out! <laughs> oh, that's right. Fatty. <laughs> yeah, ginger. <laughs> Moose. <laughs> Minger. That's funny, isn't it? Slag! Skank! These are words that have been around for years. In the corner of the classroom. The top deck of school buses. But just recently, bullying's come out of the shadows. Bullying has turned pro. The internet, television, in your newspapers. All of a sudden, everyone, everywhere, is trading on hating and bitching. In fact, we've got so used to it, we don't even know that we're doing it. Now, no matter what you call them, it's still bullying. So today, I'm going to offer you all a bullying amnesty. If you are bullying someone, this is your chance to stop it and offer an apology. And if you think that you are being bullied, there's even the potential here to forgive. 
Janice. Janice. Look, I know you think I messed I'm up. I'm not listening. Believe me, I'm not feeling particularly warm and fuzzy towards you either right now. A lot of stuff's been said, a lot of bad stuff. We've got to work through that. Look, if you're going to take this job with the rain, would you? Why don't you and Cheryl move into my spare room? Just, just till you get yourself sorted, you know. I'm not like those other men in your life, Janice. I'm not using you. I'm your friend. Good friends. I don't think so. Not after everything that happened today. I'm sorry. You've been avoiding my calls? No. Right, well, we've things to discuss. Lorraine, how about I'm busy? Later? No, I, I don't think so. In fact, this whole day has turned into total chaos since you decided to steal my secretary again. I pay her wages. And I run the school. Uh, OK, uh, pop by my office in a few minutes, right? Right. So, a bullying amnesty? Yeah. Forgiveness? Absolutely. Shame you can't apply that to you and your father. <gasps> this state of this place, are you completely incompetent today? Oh, I've had it up to where were you, Mr. Byrne. You boss, eh? You never laugh. And don't you just love the sound of your own voice going on and on and on? Janice? Do you know what? You can take your stupid job and you can shove it. Don't feel sorry for me, cos I'm gonna go and work with someone who actually appreciates me. Lorraine! Phoenix, there you are. Um, have you got time for a quick word? I've got nothing to say to you. Look, I just want to apologise for my behaviour before. I was out of line, I admit You're not it. always going about manners and stuff. But you're just a hypocrite. You're absolutely right. The problem is, I don't think you understand what an immensely powerful physical presence you have. A few years ago, I was attacked in class. And when I saw you standing there like that, I think my reaction today was more about him and not you. But I would never try to no, write no, it. No, 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 I know. Of course not. Phoenix, I am sorry. If you want to take this further, then I understand. You must do what you think is best. Uh, it's all right, miss. Oh, thank you, Phoenix. Is he free yet? Two sacks. Oh, actually, I've got this lunch meeting I need to sort out for tomorrow. You're right to help me out again. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Great. Lorraine, um, do you know um, this PA job? Well, I've decided. Great. Just uh, email me their details. Well, I've decided that. Well, I'll do it. I'd love to be a PA. Oh, Janice, I'm sorry, but I didn't mean you. I was asking you for suggestions. The type of PA I'm looking for would need to be a researcher, write reports, deputise for me, manage budgets. Have you ever managed a corporate budget before? No. And can you speak any foreign languages? No. Janice, I think you need to be honest with yourself. Know your limitations. You're a fantastic girl, but in my experience, there's no point wasting your life trying to be something you're not. All right? If you want a copy of past papers, see me at the end of the lesson. Sir. Hmm? 
Please, can I go to the toilet? Lunch break finished not half an hour ago. You've had plenty of chance. <laughs> Sir, but it's really urgent. I'm feeling sick. Me too. Bunch of incontinent infants. Not you too. I can't get sick like that. I don't care about me, but what about the baby? Perhaps you should alert Mr. Byrne. Will you excuse me? Can't be serious. I understand, but I think maybe you know. There's a good reason she's been off her game today. Daniel, it's not just about today, all right? And it's nothing personal. This is about my office ceasing to function, which in turn affects the whole school. So that's it then. Yes, I'm sorry. Look, this jobby. It means everything to her. Yes, and the efficient running of Waterloo Road means everything to me. Please, just, just give her one more chance. I guarantee she won't let you down. I'll take full responsibility. Sir, Mr Budgeon sent me. There's a bunch of people throwing up. Yes, OK, I'll be there. All right, one more chance. You won't regret it. Daniel, this might be none of my business, OK, but I think that you're getting too involved. You know, I need to be able to rely on all of my teachers. Well, you can. You know how dedicated I am to my job. Look, I think you're so wrapped up in what Janice wants at the moment that you've forgotten about what it is that you want. Oh, look at that new baby bomb. How many weeks? 17? Have they given you an hard time? How are you feeling? Knackered. Excited. Scared. There's going to be this little person, and it's completely up to me to look after them. You're dead lucky you've got Mr Chalk. He'd do anything for you. Not anymore. So why did I see him shouting at Mr Byrne getting you your job back? Chalk, you did that. Must be so great having someone supportive. I wish I did. Thank you. You have saved my life once again. How many more times, Mr Chalk? I'm, uh, I'm glad. It's... Look, I, I realised I was a bit hasty before, you know, when I said about the moving in idea. It's a bit daft, really. No. I think it's the best idea that you've ever had. But if we're going to do it, can you do it properly? None of that spare room rubbish. Well, I, don't, I don't think you... You what? Well, I've been dreaming about a fairy tale for years, and it's been the wrong one. Because... You've been there, and I should have kissed you a long time ago. Does that make me the frog in this scenario? <laughs> <laughs> eh? Never mind. Listen, you... You're tired. You, you don't know what you're saying. Look, it's the only thing that's made sense all day. Chuck, who's the only person that makes me laugh? 
who's the first person that I've run to when I've got some stupid gossip to tell? And who was the first person who ever taught me how to play the air guitar? Well, all the best relationships are built on mutual air guitaring. <laughs> Why do you always have to make a joke when I'm trying to be serious, Jock? I wasn't joking. See? I like a bickering couple already, aren't we? Come on, Jock. I will need you. I need you. It's what you want, isn't it? Of course. Mr. Byrne, can I have a word, please? I am so sorry. I think this is all my fault. Go on. I tried a new recipe at lunchtime. Oh, French fish soup. I thought the shellfish were all right. They can't have been. Well, thank you for telling me. Oh, my God. What have I done to you? I can't believe this is happening. I don't know what you mean. Right, we need to go out up weekend and celebrate. Which club should we go to? Well, we could just stay in, couldn't we? Get a takeaway or we'll watch a bit of telly. Perfect. Hey, there's an X-Files night on one of the channels. Oh, no. It's X-Factor. Bless. I'd better get back to my class. My prince. Those who are unwell, please stay where you are until your parents arrive. Everybody else, make your way out of the building now. This has got something to do with you, hasn't it? But whatever it is, you need to tell the teacher now. Jade could get sick and all. You as well. Oh. It's okay, Flower. No. I'm so sorry. I've waited since lunchtime to hear you say that. No, you don't understand. The sick people, it's all my fault. Of course it's not. I did it. I put it in the soup and now people are going to die because of me. Josh? Josh, wait up. Look, I'm not going to bother with a match tonight. I'll give you a lift to your gig if you like. We're getting the bus. Well, I'm sure I can squeeze you all in. There's seven of us. Message received. You two made it up then? Yeah. Thanks, Mr. Chart, for the chat. Ah, glad I could help. Well, you've been busy today sorting out everyone's kids for them. Who, me? What would I know, eh? Not being a parent myself. Chalky. I'm sorry about your niece. I understand that you did it for Cheryl. You are so lucky that that stuff wasn't lethal, but just tell us why. I'll tell you what I think. I think that you're so full of hatred and anger that you don't even know who you are anymore. I'm so sorry. I don't expect you to forgive me, but I'll try and make it up to you. Don't you ever come near me or my mates again. Oh, can you pass us that cloth, please? Ta. <clears throat> I'm sorry if I've been a nightmare. And if you want to call the wedding off, I understand. Only can we stay friends. I... I... on earth would I want to call it off? What's this? I was saving it. But I think you need to open it now. I love thee with the breath, smiles, tears of all my life. Elizabeth Barrett Browning. And I 
mean every word. Oh, you've brought me back to life, Margaret, and made me remember a me that a joyful me I'd forgotten existed. You're my family now. All I've got. Sorry, I'm late. Uh, you should go. Yeah, well, I thought you was giving me a lift. Why don't we go home and spoil Cheryl rotten? I meant the Ibiza. You should go to Ibiza, to your mum's. Yeah, well, I thought that you hated the hot weather. Oh, Can you honestly put your hand on your heart and say I'd make you happy? I love you. First time anyone's ever said that to me. I know that you love me too. Of course I do. Look, me and you, look, we're good together. We're going to have such a laugh. Laugh's not enough for either of us. Don't do this, please. What am I going to do without you? Dad always said I were nothing, and he were right. Well, that's the problem with parents. They always think they know everything. You're going to send me back to Rochdale? Nope. We're going to let you stay. But in addition to your suspension, there is one other condition. I'm going to introduce you to someone I know. She's setting up an anti-bullying website run for teenagers and by teenagers. They're recruiting for people to work on the helpline. You think you can handle that? Come in. You've just got to forget about your family, Rhiannon. Get on with your own life. I've tried. It don't work. Well, keep trying. If you want to screw yourself up, that is fine, but not the kids. What? Just offering advice. It's life tools. It worked for me. Because your life tools have worked so well, your father will end up dying alone. What are you talking about? He didn't want me to tell you because he didn't want your pity, but I can see there's no chance of that happening. How dare you invade my privacy like this? My family has nothing to do with you. So if you know what's good for you, you'll just back off. You understand? I'll back off. But I cannot pretend to understand you. Your father's not the only bully in your family. You'll be grand. Well, I suppose I can spend more time with Cheryl. Try and be a great mum. Well, that's the most important thing, in it. So, this is it then. Come here, you. <laughs> hey, and. Um, I'm sorry about everything that I said earlier. Well, I didn't mean it. Not all of it, anyway. <laughs> and uh, you know that if things don't work out for you in Ibiza, you can always come back to us. You're part of the family. I'm going to make you all so proud. <laughs> Are you still here? <laughs> Mum? Mom, it's Cora. Mom, I'm here. Mom. Get out there. I love you. Mikey. <laughs> I can't believe you're here. Look at you. I came here for one reason, Dad. To tell you to stay away from me. But I am staying away. How dare you use Shan to get to me? I just want to make peace before it's too late. I don't believe you. I 
remember the day. We brought you back from the hospital. <laughs> you were so tiny and so perfect. Spare me the cliches, please. What about the day you locked me in a cupboard because I contradicted you in front of your friends? Or the day you beat me with that belt because I spilled tea on your chair? I wasn't like that. You always had an active imagination. Ah, and let's not forget your spectacular ability to rewrite history. Well, I must have done something right. No! No way. Any success I've had is in spite of you, not because of you. Which is why I will not allow you back into my life. Don't contact me again. Please. You don't understand. I'm dying. I buried you a long time ago, Dad. Stop trying to make decisions for me. You're breathing down my neck all the time. I can't stand it. Oh, no, no, you two. Leave it out. How much do you want? Leech. £3,000. What's the big deal? It's just a room with a bunch of headsets. This is the land of opportunity. 